My channel has been blocked for two weeks. GWT here, folks. Two weeks because of a video they took out of my library uh, from about a year and a half ago or so about the immigrants flooding into the other countries and all the chaos that it was causing. So they said that doesn't meet their guidelines. So they penalized me and blocked me from my own site and maybe y'all too for two weeks. This started the 1st of September, I think. But they'll find something else. If they can go into your libraries that you've already published for a friggin' year or more and say, oh, we don't give you no grandfather clause. We've changed our requirements. We've changed our guidelines and you, this no longer fits our guidelines. So we're going to beat your butt. We're going to block your channel. Well, it's because of the content I'm laying out about you chicken shit Christians hiding behind a phony baloney book, a made up damn book to mind control your asses and you are too stiff necked and proud to even consider something else. You think that book is friggin' absolute. You don't even know the meaning of the word absolute. Or you would know that there is not a book written anywhere that is absolute. Your common sense should tell you that. Just like you damn sure better start listening to these short videos. Listen folks, just as the harp has been used in all the other countries for destroying the balances of natural nature, in the last 75 years we've had over 200,000, that's a lot, 200,000 species go extinct. The earth itself ain't doing that. That's man's effect on earth, folks. That's man doing that. 75 years. And they use these same machines that kills nature for war. The harp, the chemtrails, the frequencies, the radiation out of Japan and out of their reactors here and out of your microwaves in your house, out of the electric wires that run through your house, out of the poles, the wires, the transformers. No human being is supposed to come within, I think it's 12 feet of one of those live transformers hooked to the wire. 12 feet because of the radiant radiation coming off of those things and the full power that's running through those cords can jump from a trans, has jumped from a transformer to, all, to approximately 12 feet and ground it out to a human being. They're on scaffolds. They're working construction. <laughs> like a big laser beam. Zaps them. Cooks them before they end up quit moving. Hello folks, GWT. Listen, what I said about these tectonic weapons, the harp and the chemtrail stuff that they use on us and radiation, all the things that they created to kill us, and I've said it's been going on for about 75 years, that's the 75 years that I can find information about. That's the 75 years that records that they kept can verify what I'm saying. That information is available to you. Maybe not all of it completely, but enough of it that you'll say, hey man, that guy, Wes, he really ain't crazy, man. This guy's just pissed off because he realizes that all the rest of humanity and him all around him is being systematically murdered and made sick and made fun of, and used for guinea pigs, used for test subjects, treated inhumanely, genocide, genocide, poisoning people from the friggin' air, give me a break, that's not war, you MFers, that's outright, that is, I'm telling you folks, anybody that does that shit needs to have one right through their brain pan, and you know who needs to do that? Some 10 year old kid because they're the only ones with enough friggin' sense to listen and to understand the things that I'm saying because they see more of the stuff going on than you adults do. GWT folks, now as far as those tectonic weapons and their destruction on man, on all life, public bookstores has aerial photography to see both drastic modifications and subtle changes to whole entire continents.
whole continents, green, brown, water, different things. Like time-lapse photography, what did they look like 50 years ago, 75 years ago, 25 years ago, today, where everything is dead and everybody's dead, except for the places that the United Nations and the U.S. and the corporations have gone in and seized that land because there was nobody left alive to fight them or to resist. And now they've used the harp machine and put water back on it and the land actually is fertile. It's rested for a long time. It, it's rejuvenated. They're growing in mass production, all kinds of things that the United States used to grow. And that's why your foods, that's one of the reasons your foods and your stores are so incredibly expensive. This country has enough fertile soil to feed the world. That is not BS. This country has enough growing soil to feed the world. They took it from us. Farmers, farmland, GMO, Monsanto. You folks better wake up. You can find all of this kind of stuff even in public bookstores. You know something? These drastic modifications and subtle changes that once put into motion, let me tell you, once that stuff goes into motion, it never stops until the ones controlling the tectonic weapons makes a change. 24-7, one side protected gets stronger and the other suffers to disease and or death and then they get forgotten. Do you think that's the way humanity is really supposed to be? Hey folks, GWT here. The government over the North American continent is using machines of war and inhumanity to outright destroy our lands, cause you to alarm, and cause you harm, and absolutely no regard to life other than their own and their armies all trained and planned to protect those of authority and money, and mistreat and abuse with sportsmen's psychotic thought and conduct, and to simply eradicate, intimidate the opposition at their discretion and opportunity, and sneer and laugh at you the whole entire time. Hello folks, GWT here. The government and their horde they actually serve the whole world domination and population control agendas. And if interested, the cops across the U.S. could friggin' find out all the proof they needed, but they, for the most, have been trained and led to go against their oaths and the Constitution of the United States and earn friends and money and be sporting among the ranks. The armies are in place and poised. The harp is weakening the inhabitants of America. The harp, the chemtrails, they're taking the fight out of you. And what's putting any fight back in you? Nothing. Hey folks, GWT here. I'm going to tell you something right now and you better listen up folks. The harp machine, with all of the stuff that that harp machine can do folks, their armies are in place. Their armies are poised, and the harp is weakening the inhabitants of America with open war, and they have been destroying assemblies here in America forever with devastation and disarmaments and displacements of the people, then picked through and disposed of all of them, and the rest, many choosing to resist, too late, as I have warned all of you, for the most part of my whole entire adult life, long before I ever heard anything about YouTube. And I'm telling you right now, I have been warning you and I've been laying this stuff on you. And then when I got on the internet, they're blocking everything that I got to say because their part in the war, when their time is right for you, there, it's going to be your number. You're going to be, you're going to be among that number. Hey folks, GWT, I warned all of you for the most part of my adult life about what the government 
is doing and how all of the enforcement or enforcers, including mercenaries, private organizations, corporations, private armies, private everything, folks, except you. You are not, you are more than slaves. You are prisoners and you don't realize it. You can have fun and be jolly and have a ski boat and go dancing and do anything you want to do, travel, whatever you want. But in this country right here, when your number comes up, your number's coming up. And I'm telling you right now, I've been warning all of you for the most part of my adult life. So these who don't put up their part in the war, because folks, we're at war. They're using these tectonic weapons to kill us openly, make us sick, give us diseases, give us incurable diseases. And then they're inoculating with humanity with things to give them diseases, to put diseases in their body, to put time lapsed, time released, time releasing diseases into your body, just like Tylenol, time released. Hey folks, GDB2. They're using the heart machine in these storms to disarm areas of people that are putting up some resistance to the New World Order takeover, to the changing of all the laws and the rules, to changing history. They've changed history a number of times. Look, they taught us that we live on a round spinning ball turning a thousand miles an hour. Have any, do any of y'all really think that a tree could keep leaves on it if it was attached to something 25,000 miles in diameter, spending, spending over a thousand miles on 25,000 miles in circumference, spinning over 1,000 miles an hour. Do you think a blacktop highway would lay, would lay flat? Do you think mountain ranges would stay with peaks? Do you think trees would keep the leaves on them? Do you think the water would stay calm and flat in pools and lakes and oceans and stuff? Water seeks its own level. Water don't live in a curve. It don't live in a hump like a camel's back. You'll never see that. Not in this dimension you won't never see it. If it's a dimension crap at all, I'm telling you right now. I got my doubts about a whole bunch of stuff when I found out that the earth was not a round spinning ball and it didn't run out and circle a sun that was 93 million miles away. Do y'all know how many gazillions of lifetimes it would take to go and go around something that was 93 million miles away on earth something big as the earth is supposed to be according to what we're taught to move and go out and circle something safely and return and do it again 93 million miles that's a little bit more than a hop skip and a jump folks